Hi, you're watching Time Warner's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, joined today by Senate President Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg. We appreciate you being here. Great to be with you. Very honey. busy at the Capitol, and uh, as we all know, a $20 billion deficit looming. What do we do to make sure that we make the deadline this year and uh, take care of our money problems? Well, we are chipping away at this deficit, and it's really amazing the numbers, because when I started as the President Pro Tem a year ago, December, I'm now on my 80th billionth dollar of deficit reduction. We got through 60, and between the boost in the economy, some of the work we're doing with the federal government, and the actions we've taken to reduce the deficit this year, we will have this deficit under $10 billion. Now, it will still be a great challenge because the cuts to schools and to uh, health programs and to public safety uh, have already been pretty dramatic. but. We are poised for recovery. We've got a ways to go, but uh, it, it's been an unbelievable period of time, not just for state government, but for Californians. And I think we're through the worst of it and poised for better times. Well, let's talk about getting this uh, budget balanced as much as we can here and on time, because the last time around, taxpayers not at all happy with lawmakers in Sacramento, appearing that uh, everybody was just uh, bickering amongst themselves why our, our deficit grew. What changes this time to hopefully not repeat that? Well, last year, just to make a slight correction, we passed the earliest budget in state history. We passed the budget in February. It's just that the economy kept getting worse and we had to revisit it in July. This year, uh, everyone is motivated to get it done on time, but also to get it done in, in, in a fair way. When I say chipping away at it, you know, we've cut because we've had to cut. But at some point, and I think we may be beyond that point, when you c continue to cut education, higher education, you're beginning to not only hurt people, but hurt the economic recovery as well. And I think that's what we have to be very, very sensitive to. But we recognize we have a job to do. Uh, and we've, we stepped up last year, we'll step up again this year, and we will get it done. Uh, there needs to be a little fairness, though. We need to... Uh, we need to probably make some more cuts, but we also need to see if there's some additional ways we can generate revenue so that we aren't uh, killing the biggest economic engine we have, which is public education in this state. Clarify something for us if you, if you can here. A, a lot of people are saying, at least to me, all right, so we're cutting and cutting and cutting, but something here on the far side is called pensions and things like that for state workers. Is, is there any movement there to try yes. to balance that? Yeah, I mean, there are some issues with pensions, namely, uh, there are some abuses that go on, so-called spiking, where, uh, you know, people raise, to get their salaries raised at the end of their careers to have a bigger pension. That needs to change. Double dipping, that needs to end. The other issue, though, is looking at the average pensioner. You know, the average pensioner in California and state government makes about $40,000 a year. So I think we need to deal with the abuse and at the same time recognize that a reasonable pension is well-earned uh, when people have worked 30, 40 years uh, in their life. Mm -hmm. I think we want to encourage people to have, you know, enough of a pension to be able to, to live, you know, decently and comfortably uh, after they turn 65. All interrelated. I mean, a lot of times we don't think about the bigger picture. We look at the programs and just the programs. So you guys really have a lot on your plate. Well, it, it's uh, it's a big, big juggling act. But, you know, uh, we're, we are on our way. And I think times will get better. We just got to keep working at it. Well, I hope you're right, because we're ready for better times here in California. Senate President Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg, thank you for being here. And thank you at home for watching Time Warner's Local Edition. Thank you, honey.